I'm Sarah, a teacher naturalist on the Mississippi River, and this week we are at a confluence. Confluence is the answer to this week's riddle. A confluence is where two rivers meet and join together on their way to the ocean. Imagine a small creek. Maybe you play in it. That small creek flows downhill and will meet another creek. That meeting spot is called a confluence. At the confluence, the waters mix and the creek gets bigger. That creek continues to flow downhill and meet more and more creeks and rivers at more and more confluences. Some of the creeks and rivers are big because they have confluences upstream. So you see, after many confluences, the small creek you play in will join with lots of other creeks and rivers to form a huge river like the Mississippi River. That's what we're on today. Whee! Ocean, here we come! Creeks and rivers are like roads that connect our country from the mountains to the ocean. We're standing at a very special confluence, the confluence between the Mississippi River and the White River. Now, it's special because if we follow this Mississippi River all the way upstream to its source, we will go to Glacier National Park. That's one of my favorite places in the world, and it's a place that I've worked in. Now, if we follow this river upstream, this is the White River, it's gonna go to another place I've worked and another place I really, really love, the Ozark Natural Science Center. On a map of the United States, we can see this very confluence. The blue lines are major rivers. Here is the Mississippi River and here is the White River. Where they meet is the confluence we are at today. Glacier National Park is connected to this confluence by the Marias River, the Missouri River, and the Mississippi River. And the Ozark Natural Science Center is connected to this confluence by different rivers. Let's zoom in on the state of Arkansas. There are three creeks and rivers between us today and ONSC. The White River, the Kings River, and Bear Hollow Creek. The White River joins the Mississippi River as a large river with towering cliffs and beautiful turquoise water. The Kings River is a bit smaller and it has lots of limestone bluffs and crystal clear waters thanks in large part to the beautiful small creeks that feed it. Creeks like Bear Hollow Creek, which flow right by ONSC. Here, kids get to be scientists and explorers, just like us. They get to learn and play in nature. They also get to help Bear Hollow Creek by picking up trash and studying the creek's water quality. They're doing their part for the environment, just like kids on the Missouri River which means they're all protecting this point because rivers are connected. This is the confluence where the White River joins with the Mississippi River. And the Mississippi River gets a little bit bigger. And now we're gonna follow this river all the way to the ocean. Thanks for watching.